This is a brisk boomerang. It's, uh, it's about 100 years old. It's actually the first fast catch boomerang. And this is the raka, which was used to, uh, to catch these things, but I'm not going to use it because uh, it seems to come in kind of hard and I think it would probably tear apart the strings in this old raka. You can see uh, the old bent ash and the, uh, the strings kind of woven in a, in a spider web kind of uh, arrangement, which is kind of cool. But this is uh, pretty interesting. This boomerang's got some undercut. It's got lead weights in the tips. This is a number four, and it's got, uh, it's, I think it's made out of maple. It's a pretty heavy boomerang. And this is uh, really 80 years before there was a fast catch event. This is the actual prototype fast catch boomerang. And I'm going to give it a few throws right now. So that's the brisk boomerang, brisk number four, that maple brisk with the uh, with the lead weights in it. Now this is uh, comparatively the first modern fast catch boomerang, um, made in 1981 and introduced to the world in 1982. Uh, first boomerang to break 30 seconds, and uh, I got down to about 22 seconds with it. Uh, that was 1983. Uh, that's about the limit on this, but it has the same undercut. Uh, on the bottom of the wing, has some weights taped to it to get it out to the 20 meter range. Now this, the brisk definitely doesn't go 20 meters, probably 15, but it's pretty close to 20. Um, the undercuts were uh, were Eric Darnell's idea. He was working on that concept with some uh, for sort of a different purpose, but it, it ended up uh, when applied to this failed MTA, uh, the actual first uh, modern fast catch boomerang. And a couple years later, it evolved into a slightly smaller design. This is. Um, first boomerang to break the 20 second barrier, 18.74 in uh, 1985. So these two boomerangs still fly. Uh, I'm going to give them a couple, of, a couple of throws right now. Okay, and just uh, for a little last uh, point of perspective, here's the brist again, the first fast catch, and the later second generation. This is a modern three-wing PET plastic fast catch, type used uh, in competitions now. It's 2008, so I'll give uh, give this a couple of throws just to uh, for a little comparison.
This boomerang right here was made by the man who taught Bob Burwell's father how to throw boomerangs. His name was Charlie Ahoy, and he was from Australia, the La Perouse colony. He was part Aboriginal, part Chinese. His, uh, his name right here, made by Charlie Ahoy, La Perouse, New South Wales. This boomerang has been thrown, uh, I don't know how many times, but Bob Burwell threw this boomerang in Japan, and I'm going to try to throw and catch it right now. Boomerang's in the air. Here it comes. Loading. Catch. I'll try it again. Got to throw with a Bob Burwell spin. That Bob Burwell uh, pinch grip and uh, snap throw. And that's the way this boomerang throws. Bob threw and caught it his first two times. It's awesome. That's almost it. I'll catch it, huh?